Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Conventical bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape and I got an interesting topic to cover today which is the new Corporal Beast update that is going to be added sometime soon into the game. So if you enjoy this discussion, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. So let's get right into it. So recently Mod Reach released a developer blog and discussion on the forums where he's talking about the new update and they also released some game footage of them actually killing the Corporal Beast so everything is back to normal and how it would be back in the day so that's good and they wanted to uh, have people send some feedback on what they wanted to be fixed from how it originally was so first of all they're not gonna have the Summer's End quest added as long uh, along with the Corporal Beast uh, update because it would be too much work for them to just create a new quest so instead they wanted to add some requirements that didn't include this quest in order to kill corporal beast so first of all I'm all in favor in not having the quest because I hate quests but um, of course I think it should have some sort of quest requirement now I'm not even at 150 or 200 quest points, but I think that would be a fitting requirement to be able to kill Corporal Beast because, you know, um, you would originally have to do a quest, but they're not adding the quest, so I think it should have some sort of quest requirement, and it just seems fair. So, I would say about 150 to 200 quest points requirement in order to get there, and also they are thinking of sort of some sort of combat requirement that you would need, and I'm not really too in favor of a combat requirement I mean if you already have the quests then you shouldn't need a combat requirement but um, if there were to be one then I would say about 100 to 110 combat requirement because if you add something lower than that then it's not even probably worth going cor corporal beast so yeah that just seems fitting and the next thing that they want to talk about is the spirit shields now I know this is probably gonna be a problem for a lot of people because it's a very controversial topic because the divine and Elysian spirit shields were said to be overpowered back in the day now I never had any of these myself but I'm pretty good at making decisions when it comes to uh, deciding for updates as far as I know from what I've heard from other people but um yeah I just want to speak on how we could implement these into the game and not have them be overpowered because a lot of the people want the original spirit shield setup that was added before back in actual I believe it was like uh, mid 2008 when this update came into the game so the divine back in the day used to soak up 30% of the damage 100% of the time dealt to you and it would also cost a small prayer drain which I believe was 6% uh, of the damage dealt to you would go to your prayer and a lot of people thought it was overpowered how much uh, damage that was dealt could be soaked up by the shield and it used to be 30% but I think if we were to fix it from being overpowered in the new update you could change the 30% damage decrease to 25% or 20% and this is still like 100% of the time because it's the divine and that's kind of the point of it and it also still costs uh, prayer when you are getting hit and the next one that some people said was overpowered but not as many people was the Elysian shield now back in the day it used to soak up 25% of the damage dealt to you only 70% of the time however so um, this also didn't cost any prayer drain when you would get hit if we were to fix this, I would say um, it soaks up 25% of the damage 50% of the time rather than 70% because it just seems more fitting and that would probably be a good way to make it less overpowered. So that's it for my suggestions for the shield problem. Let's get into one last suggestion that I wanted to make because they wanted to have some people leave suggestions for adding a new item into the game and one of the ones that they wanted to add was a high level weapon that used a crush attack and my suggestion for this uh, is a Warhammer that would require 70 or 75 attack and strength to use and it would its main attack would be a crush attack and it would also be one-handed so it's basically like a crush variant of the Hosta or the whip or you could um, make it even like maybe a little more powerful I guess I'm not sure because they did want to have a lot of higher level required items added into the game because a lot of people nowadays are very high level so I mean I would just say 
make a warhammer you could either call it like the spirit or divine warhammer and if you don't want to add the divine shield into the game you could replace it with this warhammer or you could just add it as well and um, basically like I said what it is is a warhammer that is one-handed and it does a crush attack and this would probably be good for bossing stuff like Sarah Domangawa's dungeon or you know just any other boss I guess that is weak to crush and I think it would definitely be a good weapon added into the game because nobody at the moment gives a fuck about warhammers or using crush attacks so I think this would fit pretty well so anyways that's it for all of my suggestions if you want these suggestions to be heard by Jagex and you like them then you gotta support me by leaving some feedback on this video such as a thumbs up a comment down below you know if you agree with my suggestions or if you guys have any suggestions you would want to make and also share this video maybe even leave a fair favorite because um if you haven't checked out my last video i recently lost 600 subscribers because youtube and google plus fucking sucks dick and it makes no sense and it fucking glitched out on me so um i'm trying to get all these people back on my channel and stuff like that so all of my support is very well appreciated anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video some more videos be coming in the future so uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you are subscribed. Peace. But wait, before you leave, check out some of these live clips. Yes! Yes! How much is this? I hope that's like 20 mil still. That's my first Zami drop ever. Yes! Well, I'll... I'll go with that. I will definitely go for 9 mil. I can't complain. Oh, shit. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Fuck. Get that spear. I never, I never get to pick up my teammate stuff because I'm too slow. <laughs>